Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Adventure Belt. My name is Kelly. I'm Trevor. Hey, today we are here at Overland Expo West in Flagstaff, Arizona 2021, bringing you the absolute coolest and best rooftop tents that the Expo has to offer. That's right. <laughs> There's tons of tents out there. We're going to bring the best to you. Stay tuned. Hey guys, I'm back here with Justin from 230. And Justin, you guys have a brand new tent out. I know we keep coming back to you because 230 is top notch in the market here. And Justin, tell me about this new tent you guys have going on. Well, this is the new Kabari tent. You get to have a look at that in a minute. Um, we took all the feedback from all the market, from everything you guys told us, and we put it into our newest tent, which is the Kabari. It's a wedge style camper tent. We made sure it was the line that it was long enough that if you're six foot five, with a size 13 foot, you're gonna sleep nice in this thing. Um, it fits the ladder inside, it fits your blanket inside, it closes very easily. So we took all the design features that we had in the past and a whole bunch of new stuff and a whole bunch of feedback and put it all into one tent. Excellent, I know people have big complaints about not being able to store pillows and sleeping bags. That'll all fit inside. Uh, everything. Pillows is the only one I'm always nervous about a pillow because you put that pillow in and you squash that thing down, it's not too much of a pillow at the end, is it? So blankets, yes. Ladder, yes. You can put the pillows in. I usually chuck them back in the car. Yeah, everything else stores inside the tent and it still shuts really easy. Two latches on the side or the back, depends on where you put them. Turn the key lock, you're done. Real quick. Excellent. And what is the ventilation like? Is it, do all the windows open? You've seen, and when you guys get to have a look up, you'll see it's got massive windows. It's got two vents at the front. It's got two ports up there for power cords to come in. If you want to run your 12 volt or solar or whatever you want to feed inside. But the windows are huge, huge. So if you don't want to use the advantage of the LST fabric and make it all nice and black inside, uh, the windows that you've got full view and all the way around. Really nice. Excellent. Yeah, we were actually talking to Mike over at Wanderlust Overland and he was raving about the light suppression technology on that tent and he says that it's like a black room in there. It's so dark. You know, it's really got to be experienced to, to, to truly grasp it. It's really got to be experienced to, to, to truly grasp it. Alright guys, I'm in the Kabari now and I'm about to close it up to give you an example of how dark it gets inside here. Let's see. <laughs> And there it is. Um, when we went down the LSD path, it was really about the adjustment of light color on the effect it has on our person. Um, we already know that if you're affected by color red or blue and the effect it has on the psychology of, our, of, of the way we feel. So really it started from that. The added advantage was, um, you got to sleep in. I got to go camp, I get to sleep in. Like, who would have thought? Yep, it's awesome. Yeah, even in those really short days in the summertime, when the sun comes up at say 4 a.m. in Alaska, you're still able to sleep. You, you are. Um, so the, 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 there's two parts to it. First one was you get to sleep longer. Second one is it doesn't get as hot as fast. So the LSD fabric had an added bonus that we never, we never built it to suit that. Um, we discovered later, and that was the temperature doesn't transfer as fast as what it does in a traditional single layer orange, blue, red, whatever color tent you've got. So we noticed a difference of 21 degrees between our old fabrics and our new fabric just in the way the sun hit it. And we just did a simple test, it's online if you want to go look it up, hit it with a temperature gun, 21 degrees, we're amazed. So the difference it means that you get to sleep longer because you're cooler and it's darker, it's win-win. Yeah, 21 degrees is a big difference, especially in Arizona where we live in the desert, it, that's a huge deal. First thing in the morning, sun hits it, bang, tent's hot. Yeah, not so much. A little bit longer. It'll catch up, but not straight away. Excellent. And what is the tent weight? This one's 163, so it's aluminum top and bottom, so 163. Um, it's just a big unit. So you've got a, a big rack is what's going to pop it. Excellent. And how would it fit on, say, like a back of a Tacoma on a bed rack or a, a topper? You really need to make sure that you go above the cab. So we've got it mounted on the ram, and you'll see this is a six foot full bed, and it goes forward of the bed just by that little bit. And any tent in this ilk, being a hard shell that opens as a clam, to get the length, you just need to have it mounted that height. Great. And you know what? It's really not a big issue, right? It's just a little over the bed. It's not going to impact anything. It should be totally fine. Well, and, and you'll see it. Um, rooftop tent camping, overlanding, it's like a marriage. It's all compromise. I want the speed. 
I want the ease, okay, compromise is, you've got to mount a little bit higher. If I want um, a bigger, wider mattress, then you're going to have to look at a soft shell. So there's that compromise with everything yeah. you look at. The trick is finding what's going to work best for you. Because what works for someone else doesn't necessarily, oh, that's the best tent, that's the, mm, it's not real good for me, I've got a seven year old. I need the extra space. So what works for that style of camping, what works for this style of camping is a little bit different. Figuring that out, that's that's your challenge. Excellent. And you talked about speed. Now how fast will this tent set up? Uh, the, the up is about less than 60 seconds. Clip, clip. It takes you longer to put the, put the, the strut in to hold the window open. Down, I'm going to say two to three minutes on this truck because it is so tall. I like to tuck it all in and make sure it's all not nice and tight. So when it closes, latches up, no moisture's getting in. So, a couple of minutes, maybe. That's, that's perfect. I mean, I have a Yakima tent. It takes me right around five minutes to set it up. 60 seconds would be such a huge improvement. Uh, and this is the compromise that we speak about. Um, not as wide in the bed. It's only a double bed size wide, um, but it's super, super fast. So it's me and the wife, this, perfect. It was me, the wife, and my boy, he's like a spider monkey. <laughs> right, so the 56, yeah, the 51 inch size starts to become a lot more of a challenge because he likes to take up 50 and I get the one. Yeah. Right on, yeah, we have been seeing this tent all over Expo. If you look at, you throw a rock from here and you will find this tent on one rig. You know, I've, I've, I'm very grateful at the response that it's had in the marketplace and the amount of people that have, that have come and the feedback that we're getting on this tent and all, on all our others. It's, it's, we're having a great expo. Yeah, it's been a great show. Hi, uh, Justin, what is the price point on this? $34.99. Okay, excellent. And is there anything else about it that you want to you know, talk about? You know, when you get up there and you're going to have a look, uh, you'll find the rebound foam mattress is super, super comfortable. It's super responsive to side sleepers, so we make sure it wasn't too soft, wasn't too hard. It already has the condensation mat in there that gives us that little bit more cushion on the mat. Um, it runs a waterproof base with a cotton top. We automatically, we already made a sheet to go with, so you can buy a fitted sheet that fits it exactly. So there's a few bits and pieces that you can buy with the tent that we already pre-thought of. The sheet, the mattress, the comfort, all those things is ready to go. That is perfect. Yeah, this tent is getting a good good response from everyone out here, and I, I like it. So you guys got to check this 23-0 new Kabari tent out. It is top notch. Justin, thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much. Good to see you again. Good to see you. All right, guys, I'm here with Alex here at Desert Armor, and Desert Armor is actually a local company here to Arizona, and Alex has been doing some really, really cool stuff here with rooftop tents. Alex, what do you guys have new? Uh, we have a brand new, which, which is behind me, a brand new rooftop tent called our Soldier. And we're trying to make it our, our budget rooftop tent while still packed with features. Um, it's definitely our lowest price hard shell. Um, it, LED lighting inside and out, um, all the standard features you'd want on a tent still, but um, with a more budget-friendly approach. Excellent. I know you've been in the market for just a few years, right? Yes, sir. Um, this is we're going on our second year now. Great. And you guys have really grown. Like I've seen your, I've been following you guys since the very beginning, and I've seen you guys just growing and growing and growing. How's that going? It's good. We uh, we started in our garage. Um, super thankful for the support of everyone. It, it's it's amazing the support uh, and how awesome this Overland community is. We, we wouldn't grow, have been able to grow without them. But yeah, we started humbly out of our out of our house in our garage, and we finally grew into a uh, a warehouse in Glendale AZ. Um, we're slowly uh, fully stocking all of our rooftop tents up uh, so we can shave down on lead times, which has been our biggest uh, issue lately. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure supply and demand, I'm sure yeah. is always an issue. Right. So let's talk about the soldier here. Absolutely. What makes this different from say like an iCamper or something similar in, in the realm? Um, first off, all of our tents come with a lifetime warranty. Um, that helps set us apart. We're here to, we're, we're consumers just like you guys. We use our, our own products every weekend as much as we can. Um, feature wise, we try to, we load our tent with features. Um, Everything we can, whether it's LED lights, all the accessories, the shoe bags, the, the anti-condensation mat, accessory bags, um, uh, rain flies. We, we include every single thing we possibly can at, at a competitive price point. And I'm looking at the, the mounting brackets you have here. Now, this just isn't your standard angle iron mounting brackets. Like These look like machined aluminum yeah. mat brackets. Oh, I would love to shout these guys out. The, I, we don't actually make these, but those are uh, made by Wheel Every Weekend. Um, he CNC's those in-house, made in the USA. They're security brackets. They, he, they're universal. He has them style for pretty much every different rack. Um, I have two rack right behind me. Uh, but yeah, the, 
they're they're awesome. He he, con he has security nuts that are um, one off that only uh, he had custom made, so he's the only one with the key to them. And no one could get in there with a the tool and get that thing off, and must have had like a saw or something. At that point, you'd probably hear him. <laughs> Excellent. And is that something to use as an accessory, or is it just your demo and just for the show? It's just our demo and our personal truck. It's a product we um, we we support him. He's an awesome guy, uh, previous veteran. Um, he makes a great product, and we um, it's one of the only ways that you can actually secure your tent. Uh, without having any anyone be able to tamper with it. That's great. Yeah, this thing is beautiful. I love the glossy finish on the hard shell. It's Thank really, really nice. Appreciate it. Yeah, the, the glossy shell is great. It looks great, but um, it does uh, it does accept pinstripes a little more, but you can always buff those out. It's kind of like a car finish then. You get the nicer look, but a little more upkeep. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's you got a trade-off. You can either have a more flat plastic mm -hmm. look yep. or the gloss. Yeah, I take the gloss, gloss any, any day of the week. Yeah, yeah, you and me both. If you see it with my truck, it's uh, <laughs> it's yeah. got some gloss parts instead of the the normal uh, matte black ones. Yeah, for sure. Both our rigs got a lot of pinstriping, but you know that's yeah. just got to pay to play, right? Right. Hey, that's part of Arizona. That's what, and and usually those are memories too. <laughs> yeah. So it's true. We could probably point out all of them. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. So, are there any other features you'd like to highlight on this tent? Because I mean, just I like the color. I like the style. I like everything about it um any other features um two inch mattress memory foam mattress uh pretty standard we include the uh one inch and anti-condensation mat with all ours gives you a little extra padding and uh helps with uh, the condensation build up we add um all our rain flies are removable um windows with awnings all around you have your stargazing window they're fully waterproof we use uh Really heavy duty 280D ripstop uh, fabric for the rainfly and then a poly cotton um, 400D uh, material, uh, polyester material for the um, canvas, make it a little breathable to help with that condensation build up at night. But um, we don't like to cheap out. We try to, um, like I said, we try to go above and beyond and have the highest quality product since we're going to be using it ourselves too. So. Yeah, plus it's a local Arizona company, support Arizona. Thanks. All right, let me ask you this. I ask almost everyone with in the rooftop tent mm -hmm. industry, how is it for side sleepers? Because I'm a side sleeper, and I inevitably always get that pinch in my hip. Man, I'm a side sleeper too. Um, I won't lie, these mattresses, they're you kind of have a give and take with the with the hard shells. You get a little bit of a thinner mattress. Um, we try to use a, a pretty heavy duty foam, but I guess I'll drop uh, uh, some some something new on this. Um, we're coming out with a inflatable mattress that's specifically uh, made to fit the size of the tent. Um, we're gonna have two versions of it, like a straight inflatable one, and we'll also have like a um, air and foam combination one, and that'll allow you. It, it should build. It'll be a, a, a saver for side sleepers like us, and then. Um, it'll also allow you to, to deflate that mattress and store more inside the tent. So kind of two little added benefits there. Oh, wow. I am so looking forward to that. <laughs> cool. And what is the price point on this bad boy? Um, we, we have these at $29.99 right now. Um, we always run promos, but pretty standard price point. Our, our, definitely our most budget hard shell that has just about every feature you can get on any other one. So, and so. <laughs> yeah, sounds great. And Alex, where can people find you guys at? Uh, you can find us at, at on Instagram at Desert Armor or at DesertArmorShop.com. Excellent. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Thank you. We really appreciate you guys coming over here. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks, man. All right, guys. I'm here with Mike from GoFast. And Mike, you guys are just crushing the industry in the rooftop tents along with the, the cab over tents. I, I don't know what they're really called. What are those called? Uh, so those are our campers, uh, which we build for pickup trucks or anything with a bed. Uh, we also do the rooftop tent as well, which is what's on the 80 series here behind me. Excellent. And you guys are basically one of the very first innovators of the camper rooftop tent kind of all in one package, correct? Yeah. So uh, our camper has a modular floor, so you can enter the camper from the bed, uh, full side access on all the panels, which is something that was pretty unique to us for the most part uh, up until uh, pretty recently. Um, and one of the great things about all of our products is that everything is all American made. We source all of our materials as locally as we can. And, uh, but it's all from America, it's all from the US. So um, we also pay our employees very well. Uh, it's like a really cool kind of like family vibe we got going on there, only the best people. Um, I love it. It's a great place to work. We make an awesome product. Yeah, you do. You guys have completely exploded. I've seen some of your YouTube videos on the production side of Go Fast, and it's super impressive. You guys have robots and CNCs and you've got the whole bit, right? Yeah, yeah, we've got a, a full-time robotics uh, kind of facility with all of our machines, a couple of Haas V10s. We've got the Tiger Stop, Tiger Saw, uh, full fabric production facility. Um, and we utilize the uh, Toyota Kanban card system, which basically allows us to take two carts, one cart with extrusion, one cart with small parts and panels, and we can build a camper with two carts. So very simple uh, for 
the guys to do it in final assembly, it, all make, it also makes it really easy for us to track inventory, which is something you don't want to run out of. Yeah. Yeah, fast and efficient. I really like it. So let's talk about the rooftop tent behind us here on the 80 series. Now, this is obviously one of the original rooftop tents you guys came out with, correct? Yeah. So this is the V2 version of the, of the rooftop tent. So it is the second version. Uh, in many ways, it's exactly the same. And at the same time, it's completely different. Uh, the extrusion has changed a little bit. The interior hinge on the front has changed a little bit. Uh, the ladder system has changed a little bit as well. As far as what the end user gets out of it, it's pretty much exactly the same. Um, you're looking at a full-size bed, but it's seven feet long, and it deploys in like one second, you know? So that's opening a beer, basically. One of the great things about our tent is the tract extrusion. So you can mount our crossbar system, which we call the beef rack, because they're super strong. They take about a 500-pound uh, pencil load dead center and they only deflect two millimeters so very strong um, but you can use the tent as a rack so traditional rooftop tent is truck rack tent for us it's truck tent rack so you still get more utility out of the tent as well it's also super light uh, one of the ways we do that is we use the plascore material which is a uh, two layers of fiberglass composite with a honeycomb in the middle and it allows us to shave a lot of weight off because we're not using aluminum or another heavy product like that. It also allows for some translucent light to come through uh, into the tent to make it feel more like you're camping outside and not in a cave. Excellent, and what is the, the you know, when you open up the windows, how does the breeze move through the tent? So the breeze moves really well. All the tents come with the front window and the side doors and the big rear door. So realistically, when you open up all of the doors and you roll them up, you're you're completely surrounded by mesh so uh great airflow you know and in the winter good sleeping bag that's all you need excellent and i ask almost everyone about in the rooftop tent industry i'm a side sleeper how does this thing sleep for people i always get a pinch on my side in my yakima tent how is this thing on a side sleeper so i'm a side sleeper too and i enjoy it it's really hard to make a mattress that's for everybody uh, our mattress is definitely a little bit on the firm side but it is a uh, dual zone memory foam uh, mattress up there it's two inches thick and you have six inches in the tent so if you're using the the two inch mattress you can add a topper on there if it's if it's too rough and it'll still it'll still close with that and sleeping gear oh excellent and that's an outside manufacturer topper not something you guys provide yeah, so that would be like if you wanted to do uh, like an inflatable hiking mat or like a little memory foam mattress topper, like the standard kind you would put on a bed. Yeah. Oh, great. All right, Mike, let me ask you this. So everyone likes to store their sleeping bags and pillows inside the tent. Is that, cap is that possible with this tent? Yes. So my advice for keeping your sleeping gear inside our tent is mathematically you have six inches of space in there total. You got the two inch mattress, so that's two inches out. And you got about an inch to an inch and a half of fabric when you close it up. So that leaves you two and a half to three inches depending on the area, which means all you have to do is kind of figure out where to shuffle those parts. So if you've got your pillows, keep them in the front, sleeping bags toward the middle so they're not underneath the fabric and you can leave that stuff up there. I leave three pillows, two sleeping bags and a rollout dog bed in mine. Ah, perfect. Man, I, I hate taking my sleeping bag out every night on a trip. It's terrible. All right, Mike, what is the weight, the actual, like, per pound weight on this? I believe the weight on this is about a buck thirty, so it's pretty close to a traditional rooftop tent. Um, it does distribute the weight very well, being a wedge-style tent, which also makes it great for the weather, too. Uh, if you get wind gusts that are 50 miles an hour or above, you can actually just turn the wedge into the wind, and it'll break over the wedge. Uh, and that's another way that we cut some of the weight out is we don't have the big folding mechanism and everything too, which also leads into how easy it is to deploy. Yeah, and the speed is everything, right, when it comes to these uh, clamshells. Yeah, speed is absolutely everything. Speed and weight. I mean, weight is such a huge factor, you know, when you're building out uh, an overland rig or just like a daily camper rig, you know, you're, these things don't, aren't rated for a ton of weight as it is. So the, mo the more you can shave off, the better. Perfect. And all the bracketry is just beautiful. And those are all made in-house, correct? Yeah. So anything that isn't a standard fastener and even some things that look like standard fasteners on the tent, we actually machine in-house. Uh, the corners, the mounting blocks, even the gutter rail mounts for the this specific mounting system on the 80 series, we make that in-house as well. And Mike, what is the price point on this? Uh, so the, the tent starts at uh, $37.50 and that's before install fee or uh, mounting options so the 80 has a specific mounting option or any vehicle with a gutter mount like that that's wide enough uh the forerunner has a specific mounting option it's actually my favorite it literally is like one inch off of the forerunner so very low profile and then everything else will utilize a crossbar system and our standard block mounts
Okay, and what about accessories? Are there any accessories that come with it or something you can get, you know, uh, a bigger awning or anything like that com that can uh, fit on there? So, uh, accessories don't come on it. Uh, you can do the beef rack, which is our crossbar system, which can be installed at the facility before it goes on your truck. We have awning mounts, we have light and antenna mounts, and uh, there's a huge actual customer aftermarket for our product. Uh, on our forum, we've got a lot of guys, cool dads and stuff, who just making stuff in their garage to, to make our product better. That's really cool, I had no idea. All right, and uh, let me ask you this. Uh, I'm standing in front of this 80, and it's honestly, it's so awesome, it's distracting for me. <laughs> I keep I catching the, the 40 behind me. Tell me about this 80 series. So we bought this 80 series from a shop in Oregon called Swag Off-Road. Uh, cool guys. It, it came on the 40s already with the stock lift. So it clears the 40s on the stock lift. Uh, basically what we've put into it so far is just the Dobbinson's lift kit, which we've been very impressed with. Uh, we are not partnered with them or anything. We paid for it. We like it. Uh, we're definitely going to upgrade the springs because this thing drives like a boat on the road. Uh, but off-road, it's magnificent. I mean, we built a Raptor out that, t that took bumps harsher than this does for sure. Um, and I think the next couple phases of the build will be a LS swap, bigger axles and better suspension. Wow. Yeah. You guys, you know how much we like the LSs in the 80 series. So that's perfect. Mike, this thing is beautiful. The tent's beautiful. You guys are just killing the industry. Uh, where can people find you guys at? Uh, so you guys can find us on Instagram, uh, GFC underscore USA. You can find us on Facebook. We have Go Fast Campers Owners Group. Uh, we have our own forum, which is just forums.gofastcampers.com. And you can find us on our website, which is uh, gofastcampers.com. Excellent. I know you guys are all going to be out there going to go fast right now, checking all these things out. Mike, thank you so much. I appreciate yeah, it. Thank you. Thanks. Awesome. Yeah. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed that video of all the coolest rooftop tents here at Expo 2021. Yeah, there's some really cool ones. Which one do you think is your best one? You know what? There's so many great manufacturers out there, but uh, I am kind of really, really partial to the 230 mainly because of the light suppression technology. It is just really, really cool being yeah. able to get in there and spend all morning long, even in bright sunlight, and just sleep the morning away. Yeah, I am not a morning person. I would have to agree with that. However, I think just for budget and everything else, I got to give it up to our local boys, uh, Desert Armor. Yeah, their so. tent's really, really cool, and that definitely be my second choice. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, they're just, there's so much out here. We obviously did a lot of the tents uh, at Mountain West. So here at West, we kind of try to branch out a little bit different direction. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe, really just help the channel grow. Hit that like button if you did like it. Be sure to follow us on IG, adventure underscore, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.